Hey team. So I was asked a few questions today about flood mitigation, and I think a few people were a bit surprised about my answer, so I'll explain why I don't support this carte blanche flood mitigation strategy. Yes, I think the highway has had an impact on the flooding and it needs to be reviewed, and if it needs to be rectified, then we go down that path. I've also come across a lot of mitigation strategies that would be really good for the environment. Some of the ones about soil biome are really good. The thing is though, most of them only work at a very small scale. So intense short period floods, fine. What we had, they're not gonna work. They just can't. You can't stop a meter of rain falling, not getting out to the ocean, unless you build a massive dam. So that is one of the proposals. That's a, the most uh, common flood mitigation strategy that can drastically reduce the size of a major flood. So that question came up and I don't think people realize how big a dam you would need it would be much bigger than the dam proposed at Danoon, probably 10 times bigger at least. So how could I support that without knowing anything else about it? Because in my experience, a lot of the time, those dams are in the worst places ecologically. So this is where there's a big difference between mitigation, uh, the environmental impacts, the social impacts and the cost, favoring away from the environment. And I'm just a bit wary of that. So I'll give you an example with climate mitigation. Climate mitigation has nothing to do with the environment. For example, if you download the IPCC 6 report, have a look in there what they propose as some of the climate mitigation strategies. And before I tell you them, just remember there's not a scientist in the world that thinks that reducing Australia's greenhouse gas to zero can have any measurable effect on the climate. No one. No one thinks that. There's nothing we can do to change the climate. However, there is climate mitigation strategies that can change the climate, uh, or at least fix, and use that term loosely, some of the environmental problems that they're saying are caused by increased CO2. Now, one of the things with increased CO2 is most animals and plants grow bigger and stronger. However, they're worried that it'll have an acidification effect in the ocean. This is largely unscientific. However, uh, just to continue with the theme, what they propose is to dump uh, toxic waste, industrial residue into the oceans to change the pH. And if you don't agree me, agree with me, download the IPCC's six report and have a look. It gets worse. One of the other things is to make our continent or the globe cooler, they're going to dump sulfate or sulfite, can't remember, into the atmosphere. Now that'll do two things. One is it'd uh, reflect radiation. It's called solar radiation reduction. Yes, it would make the continent cooler. Remembering we had the coolest summer nearly on record and last year was the coolest summer in I think a decade. So how much colder do we need it? But the other thing it'd do, it'd take away our blue skies and our blue oceans. Now, when I was a kid, anyone who proposed to block out the sun and take away the blue sky and the blue ocean was on a cartoon show when they were the villain. Now it's being proposed by the IPCC. So when someone says mitigation, just remember we don't want to hand over our power for someone to take away our blue sky or our ocean or uh, to dump anything in the ocean or to build a massive dam. We need to keep that control. Now we've already created a corporation that operates outside of normal government structures. It can forcibly acquire land. It can develop without approval and it can develop without an EPA uh, assessment. Now that to me is very scary. The reason I'm with the Liberal Democrats, the reason I'm running in the page election is because I want smaller government with less power. The community should be deciding those things, not a government and especially not a corporation. Anyway, I hope I explained that all right. All right, much love.